Welcome, everyone. This video is for teachers, students, and parents. In it, I'll show you how to use the digital textbooks and workbooks on MozoWeb, some of which you may find for free until the end of this semester. You can find the textbooks at mozoweb.com. If you're a registered user, all you have to do is click on Log In, then enter your username or email address and your password and log in to the page. If you have a user account but forgot your password, click on Forgot Your Password? Then enter your username or email address to reset your password and create a new one. You'll receive a link by email to help you with that. If this is your first time on the website, click on Login, then on Create New Account. You can easily register as a student, teacher, or parent. Once that's done, enter your email address or username and password and log into the page. You'll find the textbooks in the Shop menu. Click on Books to see the publication catalog. You can filter the textbooks by school subject or school grade. Now I'll choose Lower Grade Mathematics and click on Colorful Mathematics to take a look at the publications. You can see all the publications from grades 1 to 4. This time, I'll choose a book for the second term of grade 2. Click on Free Access to open the book. Use the arrows to turn the pages. Any paragraphs or pictures can be enlarged for better visibility, if you need to. Click on the Table of Contents icon to jump to another topic. Just click on the title and the book will open there. If you want to jump to a particular page, enter the page number in the menu. Hit Enter and the page will open straight away. If you want to open another book, close the book that's currently open, return to the list of books, and find the one you want to open. Thank you for your attention. I recommend everyone watch our tutorial videos to learn about MozoBook and MozoWeb. If you need further information, please go to our website at mozoweb.com and scroll down to the page to find the can we help you menu item? Click on it and write to us at our customer support page.